Okay, you see this fun little project here. Let's call it the river house for now. You see how those racks got there? This is a project done by Charlie and his local team over here in Penalty Valley. Uh, a road was built above here and uh, government road and uh, they made an absolute mess, knocked down some of Charlie's plantings and uh, destroyed some of his farmland. All this rock came tumbling a, a down the slope and so he said fine guys uh, in not the exact words is this but I'm gonna put those to you so what he did is build himself a house and, and uh, anybody handy would be tempted at least to do that I would say in uh, retrospect of the result of this project go for it especially if it's the government road all right let's take us a little look inside and i'm sorry if it's pixelated uh old technology but as you see it's absolutely hard stoppingly beautiful inside here modern you know it's everything you like it's got the wooden floors very earthy feel uh, local timber going on all the way around and a loft this is designed to be uh, perhaps one avenue of, of use for this is the uh, uh, people who are coming in, still coming in, maybe official people that are under one uh, week self, what is that, self-isolation self -isolation is the term. And um, so they have to put themselves up somewhere. So Charlie's looking to get his name on the list. Of, of official places where they can go and this has got all the amenities you see the fridge so they haven't got the power in yet and they're just uh, arranging but it's that exciting moment when you're just on the cusp between finished building project and residence so this is all coming very soon and I couldn't be more giddy about it for them this is deserving of quite some accolade. Uh, wish I was a real estate uh, agent now at this point. I could really plug the hell out of this thing incessantly. Okay, and you see we've got it. It's well dug all around, plenty of clearance. This of course is drainage because we do have the extreme rain condition here on a fairly constant basis. And uh, canals are something they're very good at in Himalaya. If you're not, it's time to move from Himalaya. Right, so we're looking at the structure here a little bit. Simple, but smart, uh, waterproof. We got a little, uh, some clear panels here, which gives us the light. It's a very cheap form of pass passive li lighting. That is quite satisfying. And uh, inside as well, you'll notice those skylights up there so this keeps it nice and cheerful at those times of day when cheer is a good thing and you're waking up in a bad mood hadn't had your coffee yet so here we go here's a shot the front shot at that loft and uh, plenty of room this is all about space folks and this is just an idea for you if you do build um, having a great room with a loft like that is a wonderful design for the space of it. Uh, people are often jammed into these cracker boxes and, it, well, hell, that's what you get at home. Why, why do it again? So um, this has been thought out in terms of something better, something a little extra, something special. But it, um, it's just an idea of lemonade out of lemons folks people dump things on your land if they are a resource they become your resource use them use them wisely and well just as they have done here so i, I call this a win and uh charlie baba one nepal government zero